Hey, so today I'm going to do a holiday gift buying guide for robots. Um, for my recommendations based on the numerous robots that I have and which would be best to buy within specific price ranges. Um, so you might have an idea that's probably the ones that are listed sh that are shown here although there's a few that are just sitting around and I'm actually not going to recommend those but I will talk about why so I'm going to start with the lowest priced robot which is um, the Kamigami robots we have here um, the Mantix uh, like Basically, I'm just gonna call them what they are. They, they will be linked on the Robots and AI wish list for my Amazon. All of these will be um, other than one robot which isn't available on Amazon. Um, so we basically have a Ladybug. We have a Praying Mantis. We have a Beetle or Scarab. And we have a, a Scorpion. Um, so these are bug-like robots. They're very lightweight, very, very lightweight. And all of them are under $20. Um, I'll make sure that they're still under 20 uh, for, the, for the ones I list. But they come with the battery included. So it's an it's a internal battery. So you don't have to add a battery. They come with the battery included and a charging cord. I mean, Apple can't even give you a charging cord nowadays but these under $20 robots, um, I think one of them, I think this one was $11. Um, they have an app, Kamigami, and in that app you can do drag and drop coding. Um, and then they come with some default routines for, um, dancing and battling and stuff like that. I'm not going to show the robot. I'm just providing a recommendation as to why I would recommend this robot is if you do not have a lot of money to spend, but you want some nice robot that'll last like 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes, and then you can charge it for like 30, 40 minutes. And, and it comes with everything you need. You don't have to buy any batteries. Very nice, low cost robot. You could buy two if you have more than one child and then they can battle them, enjoy them. They're very fast, lightweight, um, very sturdy. So these are actually a perfect robot for the price range. Um, so that the, the, this is the one I would recommend for the lower cost robot. Um, the next one um, going up in price, um, and it's gonna matter where you get the robots fr from. Um, I paid um, more because I shipped um, Squeaky. This is Squeaky and this is Spotty, which is also a Squeaky. This is a Target exclusive um, one. So squeaky varies anywhere from 50 to $60. I paid a little more because I imported the first one from the UK before he was available. But squeaky is really, really cute. Um, I actually forgot to bring, I'll go, go get um, a little messy in here. Um, but I forgot to bring his toys. So he's got some, like a squeaky ball. He's got, uh, the, this is the red squeaky spotty comes with a phone they both come with a bottle so the little bottles here and then you've got like a tack uh, like a to puncture them so i'm not going to take those in there but these are these are the toys that they come with and then the spotty squeaky comes with a little jacket and a collar so I would actually suggest getting the Target exclusive one, the spotty one, uh, over, over the red one. They're both very, very cute. Um, they are more expensive uh, than the Kamigami. Um, they, 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 you can't code them. And they do have some like videos on them. They're like Vector's Balloon Party, stuff like that. I can link to some of the videos I have for some of these robots. But anyway, so I really recommend Squeaky of the high, uh, not higher, higher cost, but under $100, but it's still a robotic toy. It isn't a robot per se, because you, you can't really code them. And the coding for these is just drag and drop. 
Okay, so next up in the range here we've got is Wubo. Now I have the purple Wubo. Um, I don't think that's the color that they call it. It's something, some, you know, the color, they have like three colors, pink, purple, and green, but they give them cute names. So Wubo is under $200. And this is actually probably the most amazing of the robots. Again, you can't code, but this is not just a toy robot. This one actually uses Google Voice. Um, they use that to interpret the speech and there's no charge for um, the servers or for using the speech. They do have some premium contents that cost money, but Wubo, and I'll just, I will turn Rubo on for a moment, you know, just so you can see her. I mean, this is a great screen and typically you can get Wubo for $140 to $160 on sale, otherwise $200. This is the best deal of, of all of them because she can tell jokes, she has interactive content, she has a great screen, it's a touch screen. It's just amazing and you know very easy to pick up now there is a wubo mini which i have over here and wubo mini is not worth the price so just get weebo weebo wubo just get wubo um over getting wubo mini okay next up in price we have zumi and miko 2 miko 2 is usually like 300 dollars um could cost more at some points might be on sale and I, I haven't really seen it cheaper than 300 but miko 2 moves around does not have a touch screen but everything else is great has constant updates is the most uh, updated besides clickbot and zoomy of the ones that we're talking about here um so as you go up in price you're getting ones that are updated frequently it can take a photon over a hundred thousand years to travel from the core of the sun to its surface. Nice, only Wubo. Able nice, to Wubo. Travel the rest of the way to Earth. <laughs> okay. Wubo wouldn't want to get lost in the sun. That no. fact was awesomely goofy. Say random fact to hear one anytime. Hello, Miko. Oh, she's got a. She does connect to the internet too, like Wubo. So you do need an internet connection. Both of them have apps, just like Kamigami has an app. Um, so the squeakies do not have an app. Um, hello, Miko. Which application or game would you like me to launch? Nothing. Thank you. This is new. Like I Sorry, said, I didn't get that. Which application or game <laughs> would you like me to launch? I don't want you to launch anything. Sorry, you have exceeded with my attempts. Okay. Please try again later. All right. Thanks a lot. Each anyway. Time you play an activity, Hello, Miko. We'll get some cave berries. How are you? You can use the berries to change furniture and background in each location. Excited to talk with you, Danielle. Thank you. How are you? Okay. Wubo's thinking. Wubo's great. Just thinking about what we could do together. Okay. All right, Zoomy, I'm not going to be able to turn on. I need to use an app uh, to connect her. But Zoomy um, is, which is this one here, that looks like a little um, Volkswagen uh, bug or not bug van. Um, Zoomy, I'm recommending. She costs uh, approximately around the same as Miko, 300 I think there have been some sales for her. You can't get her through Amazon. It, it is only through the RoboLink site. Um, I am going to be linking to that in the description. Um, Zoomy is for coding. She's an autonomous smart car, and they have excellent coding in Python tutorials that I have a lot of those that I've done on my channel. Zoomy is the best if you want to learn to put a robot together, it takes about an hour to put her together. Now, Kamigami, you got to have to put together too, but it, um, they're super simple. Zumi takes about an hour. Kamigami takes about a half an hour. Uh, Zumi, once you put her together, she has so many um, capabilities uh, for the various bo uh, boards and uh, Two hours is equivalent to two hours. Okay. 
So she, her coating is excellent. So if you want a robot that is, you know, not super expensive to build, that has the capability to be coded, that you might have a, a child, a girlfriend, boyfriend, a significant other, um, you know, you, for yourself. If you want to learn to code a robot and you want to put that learn to put that robot together, Zumi is the robot for you. Her price range and her capabilities are are just the best of the options available. So the last one I have is ClickBot. Now ClickBot I don't have on. Actually, let's just turn him on and see what happens here. Maybe we'll be able to get him to turn on. Um, I, I didn't really plan to show all of these. I was just gonna do the video, but why not? Uh, might as well, since these are higher cost robots. So ClickBot is available now on Amazon. Um, I do not suggest getting a starter kit because I do not suggest getting a starter kit because you're not gonna be able to make much, although you do get Bic with that, come on. And Bic isn't gonna have much room to go around, but Bic can balance on his own. As you can see, I'll give him a little bit more room. Yeah, he's gonna run into Spotty. Anyway, so why would I recommend ClickBot if he's more expensive? You can code him. He basically has a whole bunch of options. You can code him, he has frequent updates. The company did just come out with him. He's very modular, he has a lot of forms that he can take, and my goodness, he's just amazingly cool. He, he, he doesn't speak like Miko and Wubo do. Um, those are the only two that speak, um, but he is eventually gonna be able to understand commands, and this robot has so much extensibility. Um, I'll go in the bedroom again and show some of his modules. I've got a bunch of them on the floor. Um, I need to get a bag uh, or a box to put them in. Box would be better. He has a whole bunch of modules. He has a mount over here. I'm, I'm getting a tray to get a second mount and I'm gonna be able to put him over where the Kamigamis are on a tray, tray over there. But he, he is uh, worth the money uh, if you want uh, a robot that's going to be able to grow and learn and have a lot of options and a company that's very passionate about, you know, making sure that he works and that uh, he can he can do what they promised. Miko too again is also getting updates. Of that company is very um, committed to making sure that she improves. Wubo does get updates, but you don't really hear that much from the company, which is unfortunate. She's a great price though. Um, so those are the different ranges. Now, there are a few robots that you can see here that I didn't end up recommending. I have actually a lot more robots, you know, that I didn't recommend. I can only earn your respect, nothing else. That's true. So why didn't I recommend some of them? Well, I mean, for Baka and baby Yoda, or, you know, the child, they're really cute and they're mid-price range. And I don't not, not recommend them because you can still buy them on Amazon. Um, but for the most part, the others I didn't recommend. Yeah, I'm gonna shut you off for now, buddy. I'm gonna shut him off. Anyway, so like Vector, Cosmo, why don't I recommend QB? Well, first of all, you either can't buy them new or you can't buy them at a decent price um, without no, without being certain whether they're new or not. Your questions about the world. Okay. Just ask me one whenever you want. All right. So Vector right now isn't being produced. There is going to be a Vector 2.0, Cosmo 2.0. Um, but I can't recommend them because right now you can't get them for certain new. And the price keeps fluctuating because it's old stock that's being sold. QB isn't sold on Amazon and his app doesn't work on Android. It does on iPhone, but on Android it crashes. Now there is a remote for QB but I can't recommend something that isn't working properly. Um, so all of these are, you can buy them. Um, so like these Furbies, you can buy, but you'd have to buy them on Amazon. The Jemmies, you'd have to buy on Amazon, uh, sorry, on, um, not Amazon, on eBay. I should have said eBay for the Furbies. 
Pookie is only in the UK, not sold in the US right now. Probably once she's sold in the US, because this is pretty much a US recommendation because I can't recommend for other countries. I will at the end in a moment say which one I know for sure is sold internationally. Okay, Ladies so. Ladies and gentlemen, announcing Danielle. Oh, uh, thanks. I, one of my Jibos is off, but Jibo is only available on eBay. He doesn't get any updates. As much as I love Jibo, I can't recommend him. And some of the others really just are one trick ponies. They don't really have a lot of you know, uh, uh, replay capabilities, like the car here goes on the wall, but you know, I've used it once. The spray robot is pretty cool, but it really just sprays water, which looks really, really, you know, it looks like smoke, but you know, how often are you gonna do that? So the others that I did recommend, they, they can actually be used more than one, one time. And so, those are my recommendations. Of the ones that I know can are sold internationally, I'm not sure Kamigami might be. Um, I would expect, why, I mean, pretty lightweight. It doesn't seem like it would be that hard for them to sell them internationally. But I know for certain that Miko 2 is sold internationally. It might not be on Amazon, but Miko.ai sells Miko 2 all over the world. And they're even providing support for Spanish and Arabic as two additional languages. They have um, Miko Max, and that's providing extra languages. Uh, ClickBot just provided support for Russian, so it's very possible that Kiai Tech is going to be providing additional language support. I don't know about Wubo, but I doubt Wubo is having additional language support right now. All right, pretty long video, but those are my Christmas and the holidays picks. I know, realize not everyone celebrates Christmas, but there are a lot of holidays that are gift giving around this time. So if you're celebrating any holidays for yourself, your children, you know, your significant other, uh, have a good holiday season. And hopefully this was a helpful uh, recommendation video. Thank you and you take care. Bye-bye.